What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mix Core, and today we back with another video, man. Today, we're gonna be taking out my twist, bro, and I'm gonna be telling y'all what type of stuff I use for, for um, anti-itch, um, longer hair, faster, and um, less frizzy hair, you know, cause, cause no one likes frizzy hair. Like, when you go outside and stuff, you don't really, you know what I'm saying? You don't want your hair to get frizzy. So today, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So before we get into the video, man, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Turn on the post notifications because y'all know we get lit over here. Y'all want to be notified for anything I post. So without further ado, we're gonna get straight into the video. You did. All right, y'all. So what we're gonna start off doing? You know, I ain't just gonna be on YouTube and not have my tape brushed down. So we're gonna brush down my tape first. We are gonna make sure I'm looking. A little decent. It's time for me to go get another haircut, but we're gonna make sure I look at least a little decent. So, all right, that's that. The next thing we're gonna do, bro, we're gonna use this. This is what I use, y'all. This is what I use. Jamaican mango and lime. It's a spray, and it's like it just helps your hair grow faster. It helps your scalp not itch. It helps your scalp not get dry, and it just helps overall, like anything, like any type of hair, like braids, dreads. Curly, like, like if you basically, if you have bad, like a bad scalp, cause I know a lot of people have bad scalps, you know, this is the best thing for you to use. Cause it's not even greasy. Like you spray it on there, you rub it in and that's that. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna shake this up a little bit. And we're gonna just spray this all over the, all over my hair, really in the middle, because that's where you really wanna get it at. And then you wanna just rub your scalp we rub the scalp up a little bit. Mainly, I would recommend this to people who have dreads or like, you know, longer hair, like braids or something. I would recommend it because y'all know braids be tight and they start to itch when it's almost time for you to take them out and stuff. So you wanna, you wanna make sure you, you ain't scratching your scalp and making your scalp bleed. Cause I, I know a lot of people who, who that, who's, I was about to say that wrong. I know a lot of people that has been through that. So, all right, so I got that on there. My hair was just frizzy, like bad. And now you can see it's not even really, you know what I'm saying? It's not even frizzy, like you can, you know? So it helps with that. So y'all, I just proved to y'all cause my hair was just frizzy as mess. And now I'm using this spray, make sure y'all get a, a good look. Make sure I get a good look at the spray. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a thumbnail real quick, you feel me? Bro, I be trying to look like a goddamn cute hell in me. I ain't gonna stop. Oh, bro, I'm bad at thumbnails doing videos, bro. Oh, bro, All right, we're gonna see what that is. All right, so now, now that we did that, we're gonna basically, I'm gonna use this band. You can use like, depending on how, depending on how many, uh, well, if you a dread head, depending on how many dreads you got, it depends on how many bands you use. I'm gonna use this long one and I'm gonna use these other two. So it's basically four bands because I'm gonna tighten it. I'm gonna put these together and put it together like that. So I'm gonna use four bands, really three. And so now all I'm gonna do is, I'ma just section, I'ma section like a part of my hair up, section this side up, and I'ma section uh, this side. Well, the size that I'ma, the side I'ma start on is this right here. So I'ma get this in the back. And you really wanna get the bands for when you really start taking them loose because you gotta have bands to separate them once you take your hair out because then you just have hair in the way of hair and then you won't know which hairs that you've already taken out like which twist that you've undone so then you go like a month and you got you still got twist in your head and you ain't even know it and then they locked so you can't do nothing about it so we're gonna start off right here we're gonna go ahead and get these done so i you know really all you do is we're just taking this out basically you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. 
I'm gonna speed the video up too, so. And I'm gonna do a lot of cuts, so y'all ain't even know. Make sure you don't skip the video. Make sure you look at the whole video. Like the twist pattern. Because some people may twist to the left, some people may twist to the right. You know, everyone do their own different thing. But my hairstyle is personally a big shout out to her. I don't know if she want her name out like that, so I ain't gonna say her name, but. Well, I've shot her out before, but if y'all want, if y'all in the North Georgia area, and y'all want, like, y'all hair did, any type of style you want it, she can do it. Her name is Shundell Clayton. Y'all can hit her up on Facebook. If y'all want y'all hair did, and she has good prices, she has great prices, and she do a good job, but like, she's very professional, so. And she watches too, so. You know, I'm just gonna put y'all on. If y'all want y'all hair did by somebody who know what they doing, who really know what they doing, like, who's really good at it. I just get these normal twists because they're just easier to manage. And plus I do a lot of working out, so I just, if I do like a design, I don't want my um, hair to get super sweaty and then it starts to itch and I can't even get to the scalp because I have a, certain design and, and, all right i think we almost done with this side y'all you know also another thing bro if y'all ever want to start dreads bro depending on what size you want them i always start with your dreads i like, always start y'all's twists small like make sure you have a lot of dreads hanging because you want your whole head to be filled and you want to have you want to have volume in your dreads like you don't want no bald spot so all right y'all so this is one side so y'all see how i'm gonna do this right so i'm gonna take this one off well really i can just use this one maybe i can just use this one so i got one side done oh crap got one side done so that's already taken out and then i'm gonna take these out now I'm gonna do this side. Actually, I'm gonna split them up, kind of. Split them up again. It's not as hard. It's not as much as the books. It's not. It's not even time consuming. I'm just making sure y'all see what I'm doing, you know. So, and I have to look in the mirror to make sure I'm doing it right, so I don't. Miss me, no, feel me. Cause I'm real in particular about my hair. Like, I don't let just anybody touch my hair or do anything with my hair. So, I um, fast forwarded the video or basically skipped the part because I can see it jump. So, I've done this side. You know, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this band and I'm gonna. Put both of these together. My hair is actually growing pretty good, so my hair's gotten longer. So uh, I'm gonna just put these two together, these two sides together. My hair about to, my but my whole head about to look weird for for a few minutes. So y'all just bear with me. Just bear with me. Also, y'all, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what um what I should um what color I should dye my tips. So y'all let me know in the comments. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of blonde, a lot of gold blondes or like lighter blondes. But uh if I don't, oh well. Oh yeah, also, if y'all were wondering how I was taking them out so easy, I already took the bands out. I had already took the bands out before I did the video because my phone needed to charge a little bit. So I was like, let me just go ahead and take the bands out so it'd be easier to do. So that's what I did. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all, uh, let me know what hair products y'all use for y'all's hair, like twist, dreads, braids, whatever y'all got. Y'all let me know what y'all use. And uh, 
Y'all let me know what color I should dye my tip. Cause I'm I'm pretty much leaning on blonde, cause that's my favorite. Like blonde looks better on me, on my hair. Personal opinion, and like a lot of people say they, they like blonde on me. But I've always wanted to try red, but everybody do red. Everybody do blonde too, but like everybody do red. Like mostly everybody with dreads do red. So I just want to stand out and be different in a way. Well, I don't know. It don't really make sense because everybody do everything. So I might, I might mix it up a little bit. But right, I'm almost done with this. Yeah, man, it's way easier going ahead and taking out the bands because normally when I do this, like you know, without being on camera. I've been here for decades trying to get my hair out because I'll be trying to take the bands out and then untwist them. My arms be hurting like crazy. But yeah, I got a few more to go, then all of this will be out. Woo! Let's go. Man, I miss my hair band out of the twist, but I also love the twist because it, like I don't have to do anything to my hair. Like, I don't know. It's just... It's, it's easier with twisting your hair. It's easier to take a shower with them in your hair, all of that. Y'all, my arms killing me right now, man. I ain't even gonna, not even my arms, just my shoulders, bro. Like, my shoulders killing me. Come loose, thank you. Y'all, it sounds like it hurt, but I promise y'all it don't hurt. All right, y'all, so I just took out all of that. So let me take out this side. <sighs> so that's that. That's my hair taken out. Uh, to know what I do to know my hair grow, grew, I mean, to, I, um, I always look at the front because my front is shorter than my back. So I always look at the front. I take a picture of the front from the last time. And then I take a picture of the front from, you know, now from present. Then I compare the two and then I see if it really grew or not. But yeah, I and I recently just, I, I recently just got this. I got this like last week. So I've only been using it for like, was it last week or two weeks ago? Well, I, I know for a fact I've been using it for at least a week. So, but this stuff really works. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some more on my hair. Now that my hair is fuller, I'm going to put some more in there. And really, and really, you're only supposed to use this twice a day. But I'm just doing it now. I'm doing it again because my dreads are actually out. So, and they're actually able to breathe. And it's touching every dread. So, and you don't even have to spray that much. I just spray a lot because my hair is super thick. My hair is thick as mess. But yeah, y'all, so that is that. Um, remember, if you have dreads, anything. Well, y'all probably already know about this. I know this is very popular. But this is what I use. Y'all can read it and everything. It, it actually works. So uh, yeah, man. So that was that. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all get this video to, to 10 likes, man. And I love y'all once again. Hold on. I can't, I can't end the video without me brushing. My tape down. And one thing, another reason why I like having my hair down because you can't see my tape. Like, you don't know if I have a tape or not. You don't know how bad it looks. So, all right, y'all. But yeah, that's it. Do a little spin around for y'all. Y'all can see how my hair look. But yeah, I'm about to dye my hair real soon. So make sure y'all uh, go to the comments. Y'all let me know what color I should dye my hair. And uh, let me know what color I should dye and how far y'all want me. And how far up y'all want me to dye See you, man. I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all stay up. Y'all stay safe, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, so it's your boy. And we out of here.